Hey guys, what's up? Retro Shinobi here comes your video, and in this video, I'm gonna show off the 3DS pickups that I got from um, from uh, Christmas, from like everything else. Like there was um, nothing from Black Friday, but some other stuff too. So I'm uh, gonna start off with an amiibo, and that is the Shovel Knight amiibo, and um, this is actually a really really cool um, amiibo. Because it lets you play um, cooperative, so you can play with the second player um, in your game, which is actually like a lot of fun to do. And um, with that, on the 3DS, got Shovel Knight. So um, really awesome. Really happy to have another physical copy of that. All right. Um, up next, we have Pac-Man and Galaga Dimensions, which is a pretty cool, um, not too expensive game on the 3DS if you're looking for 3DS games to pick up. So um, up next. We have two copies of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the 3DS. And um, if I'm not mistaken, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, but um, these are out of print. And um, these, um, I saw a couple of copies of these at my local Best Buy and thought that they were still out of print. So I got two, there were still some more, and I'm pretty sure there still are some more. Um, but not too sure on that. Uh, let me know uh, if these are out of print or if they uh, started making a reprint run of them. I'd really like to know about that. Alright, that is the rest of the regular games. Now we're moving on to limited edition games. And um, we're going to start off with uh, the Amiibo version of Happy Home Designer Animal Crossing. So um, that's pretty cool. I'm not too huge of an Animal Crossing kind of guy, but I'll give it a shot. And um, the other game is Etrian Mystery Dungeon. And um, I've been excited for this game for a pretty long while. And um, I'm really excited to open this up and give it a nice try. Um, I'm a big fan of Atlas Games. Um, where did they put it? Right there. And i um, really excited to play this. I've heard a lot of good things. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. Alright, now um, recently... Uh, 3DS game came out by Atlas, and um, and in that, like a company that is going bankrupt, and um, this is their last game that they're going to be publishing before they are shutting down. And at this time, they are no longer in service, and this was kind of their last triumph. And I'm really glad they put this out. Really, also kind of sad that this is their last game. This is a fantastic game, and that game is Stella Glow. And um, this is the copy that was inside of the limited edition. So um, this is a very, very fantastic game. Um, you still can find copies around at Best Buy if you get lucky enough. Um, is in the limited edition form. You can still find the non-limited edition form pretty much anywhere. But um, definitely pick up the limited edition. It's got some cool stuff in it. It's got um, it's got the music CD, and it's got this like it's got like a poster and a keychain. It's um it's really cool. I would definitely recommend checking it out. And um not only I got it um and opened the limited edition one because I had ordered a second copy sealed and um this is the better copy that I decided to keep sealed and um like I said you can still find copies around and I would definitely recommend you picking up copies of this because um there is a good chance that in the future it's going to be highly desirable especially in the limited edition form. All right, now um, for the last thing, we got something that um, we showed off a version of last pickups video, but um, this is slightly different, and um, that is Rodea the Sky Soldier. Not just one, but we got two. And um, you might be thinking, well, this is the same as the Wii U one, and that's where you're correct. Um, whenever they package this out for the Wii U and for the 3DS, they gave it the same package, and there's absolutely no markings on any of the sides or anything to indicate um, which is which. So basically, um, we got into contact with NIS um, stores, and they told us that the only way to tell if it was a Wii U or a 3DS without having to open it is um, to weigh it. So, um, got a little sticky note that says Wii U, and... Um, these ones say 3DS. So, um, that's kind of, like, kind of iffy on NIS America's part. Um, 
they kind of do that with all their limited editions, like their big boxes, like all the hyperdimension stuff, but it doesn't say that it's a PS Vita game, which it is, which kind of is a uh, kind of weird thing to do. But um, anyways, those two 3DS copies came with two copies of The Key of Time, so um, that was nice. I have three of the same necklace, so that's cool. And um, yeah, so um, that's all the pickups I have for this week. Um, I am going to be attending the Midwest Gaming Classic in Wisconsin. Um, let me let me know um, what you guys think. If you guys are going to be going, let me know in the comment sections below as well. And um, also, I am close, getting closer to um, 500 subs. And when I get to 500 subs, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And um, I'm going to be giving away a lot of good stuff. So make sure to tell your friends, tell your family, um, to check my channel out, subscribe to it. As soon as I get to 500, I'm going to be doing an awesome giveaway for you guys. So um, anyways, remember to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. This is Richard Shinobi, signing out.